What's up, guys? Um, I'm doing some work on our hiring funnel, so I wanted to share you with with you uh, how we're optimizing our hiring funnel. You should get a lot out of this. Um, we're using Airtable, Go High Level, and our templates here, and we'll get as much done in a short amount of time as possible. So I just posted about our new uh, sales rep uh, position, and then we're just simply sending over the application form through Airtable. And now we're setting up the automated emails inside of um, inside of Go High Level. So we have a Zap set up for when they fill out the application. Then they go into Airtable automatically and you guys have this set up. So when they fill out the application, they will also show up in here. So I can see Ricardo just recently filled this out. But we set up a zap for when they fill out that application, they will also show up in Go High Level. Now we're optimizing this so they'll also show up under our hiring pipeline. And for some reason, let's see if we can find Ricardo. He's probably already in here. And that's why he's not showing up at the top. Um, I believe this is the same Ricardo. Let me double check that. Yes, it is. So what I want to do now is add him, and we're going to set the automation up for this, um, but add him to our hiring pipeline. So that's under opportunities here. And uh, he's going to go to our hiring pipeline under new candidate. So we'll hit create for that. And now what we want to do <clears throat> is make sure that we have automations around the emails that are going out. So um, what we'll do here is go to, um, let's go to uh, opportunities. And you guys already have the templates for the emails and all of that stuff to send out. Um, so what we could do here is add a section called responded, but I'll show you how you can manually just send out an email. So here, what I'll do is paste this in from your hiring email templates that we've created for you. And we could add in <clears throat> contact name, um, but just so he gets an email right now, we make it super simple. And I'll show you in a second how to automate this. Perfect. And I sent the email and we can also set up an automated text. So, I'll show you, I can just text him out here. Boom. Perfect. So I didn't mean to send that, but oops, <laughs> this is an example right here. Um, what we can do is templatize these emails. So if I go to marketing, I can go to templates and um, add email template. Name is going to be application received. Boom. And then I'm going to put this in the subject line. and put this in here and we're going to add in a custom value first name boom and from addressed We'll leave it like that. That should work. Save. 
Boom. So now we got the template for our first hiring template in here. What did I call it again? <laughs> Save it. Oh, application received. So I might want to be better at titling this. I might put uh, hiring. <clears throat> so we got that template in there. And now we can put the rest of our email templates in there. So hello, applicant. This is Andrew, or this is Andrew, CEO of Masters of Fate. Thank you for applying to Boom. We've um, reviewed your application and would like to move forward in the process. Um, we'd like to invite you to Zoom. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect, perfect. So let me take that. So this will be the screening interview email. Perfect. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is add email template, call this hiring screening interview invitation, and we'll put this in there. And hello, <clears throat> first name, perfect, Andrew Cruzy, CEO, Masters of Fate, thank you for applying, thank you for applying, and we've reviewed our application, would like to move forward. I'm going to take my Accountly booking link right here, grab the 15 minute one, 15 minutes, boom, boom, perfect. Save, and what we want to do is have the title there. So we can call Masters of Fate, Next Steps, perfect. So now we've got that email template in there, and we can go on. I'm gonna add the rejection email as well. <clears throat> um, so let me add template. Okay, rejection email for hiring. Boom. Yep, do that, perfect. First name, boom. We appreciate your <clears throat> interest in working at Masters of Fate. After reviewing, we have decided not to move forward. We have decided not to move forward with another. We decided to move forward with another candidate whose experience better meets our needs for this particular role. We encourage you to uh, thank you, Masters of Fate team. Great. <clears throat> and let's look at this. Thank you for your interest. So I'll just title it that. Thank you for your interest. <clears throat> and save this bad boy. Perfect. So we got that in there. Let's see if if interview was had. Um, cool. So add template, add email. <clears throat> interview was had, boom, 
I'm going to pop that in there. A boom. Contact first name. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for applying to work at Masters of Fate LLC. We've decided to move forward with another applicant and just wanted to let you know about our decision as you were one of the final candidates. It was an extremely hard decision for us as both our, your expertise and job assessment were impressive. We hope you'll keep us in mind and don't hesitate to apply uh, if you see an opening fit for. That's really sweet. Uh, thank you for your time again, Andrew Cruzy. Cool. Beautiful. So we'll save that. Oh. Thank you for interest. Thank you for your interest in working at Master Masters of Fate. Boom. Save. Perfect. So we got the templates in there. So now it'll be really easy to send over these. Um, the additional thing that we can do is add in the automation right now for when we receive an application. So I'm going to create workflow, start from scratch. <clears throat> And the trigger for right now is going to be a tag. And let me make sure that I'm grabbing the right tag here. Boom. Filter tag added. I think it was hiring or candidate. Probably can. Did make sure we got the right one here. If we go to contacts, should see it on the right hand side. Let me expand this. <clears throat> Habit tracker. There was somebody who opted in recently application hmm. okay so we'll add that in there we'll just call it candidate for right now <clears throat> and that will be the trigger. And then the first action is an email. We'll send that email from template from Andrew Cruzy. Gracias. Yeah. Uh, and there we go. And we want to do this from template that we put in application received. Cool. They'll get that. They'll get that. Perfect. Let me save action and turn on the publication and call this um, shake hiring. Save. Perfect. And <clears throat> what we want to do here now is <clears throat> see if somebody else came in that would be really nice if somebody filled out the application right away nope um, what we can do here is go here and the tag be candidate. Perfect. 
and then you'll see I will get an email <clears throat> here, it's just loading right now, uh, that uh, I will get an email that uh, they've received my application. So what's gonna happen here is we have a zap from the application here to go high level and the tag will automatically be added of candidate. So they will automatically get an email saying we've received their application. And then in opportunities here, they will be moved to the hiring pipeline. And here, what we can do is review their application here. So I'll look at Ricardo. <clears throat> and go through his stuff. And if it looks like we're not moving forward together, I'm not saying that's that's the case, but now we have the hiring templates in there. So we can easily go to Ricardo, <clears throat> go to email, look up template, Let's make sure, boom, formatting, insert template. Template I'm looking for is rejection, email, use template, boom. So super easy now. And then if we were to reject Ricardo, we would put him into not a good fit. Boom, right there. <clears throat> so super easy now. You have your hiring pipeline. Here are the stages right here. Um, you have your hiring emails that you're sending out. Plus you guys have access to all the interview questions and all of that stuff. So hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one and let's go hire eight players.